Thanks for tuning in and not going live. Please hit the subscribe button. Moving on to the final. The final division, the NFC South. Um, so last place in the NFC South and um, in the Caleb Williams sweepstakes, we're going to go with the Buccaneers. I hope for Ty Boyle's bowl's sake that they are good because his resume doesn't look good as a head coach. He's a great defensive coordinator, but it doesn't look good at all. He hasn't been good as a um, head coach at all in this league. And last year they got to the playoffs, but like we're Brady and they underachieved. So for his sake, I hope they're good because he might not be able. The only thing that might be saving his saving him for uh, like keeping as as far as keeping his job is the fact that Bruce Arians is there and they they basically like set up that job for him. But the Bucks are going to be trash. They are already um, not signing extensions and requesting trades. They might get Caleb. So, yeah, they're going to be in the Caleb Williams sweepstakes. They lost, yeah, they lost their, um, they lost the damn, uh, second best or second best lineman too. So, yeah, good luck, Baker. Um, third place. I have the Panthers. I like Bryce Young. I like Brian Burns, but he's not in he's not in he hasn't been in camp, I think. He needs to get paid. Um The Panthers low key got some players. Don't get me wrong. They picked up Adam Adam Thielen. They got um I always forget his name. The receiver from LSU. He's probably in his second year. Let me look it up. I didn't even want to spend that much time on them, but uh, oh yeah, Terrence Marshall, yeah Terrence Marshall. I think he's good. Um, they got DJ Chark and they got Chanel. So their receiving core is not that bad. Um, I like Bryce Young. But I think he's going. He's going. They're going to struggle this year. Uh, but I don't see them going sweet with anybody in that division because the division obviously not that bad. Um, I mean not that good. And I think they can give some people some fights, but they'll probably be um. They probably won't be that good. They'll be fighting with Tampa for that last spot, but I think they're better than Tampa at least. At the very least, because they have an underrated defense for for sure. Second place is another team that I think is underrated, the Falcons. The Falcons actually had a decent offseason. I know a lot of people were, like, confused why they got Bijan, but I think that was just more so of a thing where you just want to make your strength, like, you want to build on top of your strength. Bijan is really like that. He's 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 probably yeah he's probably gonna win offensive rookie of the year. Like he's probably gonna win off if, as long as he gets his carries. Because the only thing is they got a nice they got a nice backfield because they got uh, Cordell Patterson and um, Algier. I think they were the number one. Um, were they the number one rushing team in the league last year? If they weren't, they were top three. So, the only thing that might stop him from getting offense rookie year is Sharon Carey's, but he's a dog. Their weapons are nice. Like, you got three good running backs. You got um, Kyle Pitts that I think is going to bounce back. I think everybody be talking shit about him because of fantasy. Like, bro, that's not real football. It's fantasy. Anyways, uh, Drake London is good. Um, I'm always forgetting receivers' names. It don't matter. Um, but yeah, I do think their weapons are underrated. They got a uh they got a pretty good offensive line. And on defense, they picked up Jesse Bates, um, AJ Terrell, one of the other underrated corners in the league. They gonna be all right. Um, they're definitely gonna be a tough out. I'm they're not I don't got them making the playoffs, obviously. 
but they're they're gonna they're gonna be good. So we going it's all gonna depend on how good Desmond Ritter is. If he's like if he's average, they might be a problem. Um in terms of like playing them, like they're gonna compete, but um yeah, I don't I don't know about Desmond Ritter, so I think they're gonna win about the same amount of games. Would they win like seven or eight games last year? Yeah, they probably win like between seven and nine games again. So hopefully they can, um, for their sake, figure out their quarterback spot because I think that's the last, the last piece for them. And the final spot, um, first in the NFC South, the Saints. A lot of people don't like Derek Carr. I think Derek Carr gets a lot of shit for nothing. He's never had, I think the stat is he's never had a top 19 defense. That's ridiculous. Um, I think he's cool. Like, he's above average. Um, He's not elite. I think he can be good. If they're, if Mike, um, if Michael Thomas uh, decides to play football again, then they're really going to be a problem because, Watch out for Olave. He's about to break out this year. Like he need, if he's he if he's healthy, Olave is going to go crazy this year, I promise you. And then if Mike if uh Michael Thomas plays and Olave, that's a great receiving core. You got Jamal Williams. Um he's going to be playing um like it probably you probably would have thought it was a problem that Alvin Kamara um is getting suspended even though it's only a few games, but I just I seen that Jamal Williams is there, so they'll be fine in that regard. The defense, the defense was, I think the defense was like, I think they had a top ten. I think they had a top ten defense last year. Yeah, they ranked fifth in total defense, ninth in points. Yeah. They had the fourth most sacks in the league. Their run defense fell off. But they got, man, I like their defense. You got Marshawn Lattimore. You got Demario Davis. You got Cam Jordan. You got to start every single level of the defense. They're going to be straight. Their car would have to be terrible shit if to not miss the um to not win that division because that division is not going to be good so i got them winning that division easily uh i think they'll win like 12 games 11 i don't know their schedule i'm gonna call it 11 or 12 because i got faith in Derek carr and everybody that's hating on Derek carr 